For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 12, the season finale of the Manchester United Career Mode series here on FIFA 18. We start with an away game at the Amex, a stadium that's new to FIFA this year. A number of you in the comments section did ask whilst I was at the capture event if I could get some footage from this particular ground. And uh, considering it's the penultimate game of the season, we are able to do exactly that. We know what the situation is with the league uh, title or league standings as we head into this game. If you missed the last episode, then check that episode so I don't spoil anything for you because spoilers are about to come. Give you a brief second to go back and watch the previous episode. If you haven't left yet, then you're about to get spoiled. Of course, we sit top of the table with two games to go, seven points clear of Tottenham, but they have a game in hand. So they could still win the league ahead of us if we lose both games today, or even if we only pick up a single point from today's two games, the two final games of the season, then Tottenham could still pip us to the post and we might not win the Premier League title. However, if we can get ourselves a win in this one, <laughs> perfect timing, Henrik Mkhitaryan gives us a 1-0 lead. If we can hold on to this 1-0 lead and get the victory, then we will win the Premier League with a game to spare. Brighton, however, on the attack themselves, trying to find an equaliser here, which would thwart our attempts, at least for now. Of course, we do have a final game of the season to try and guarantee getting across the line, but if we can get victory here against Brighton, then we will win the title with that game to spare. Lukaku plays the 1-2. Romelu Lukaku slots home to make it. Manchester United 2, Brighton 0, just before half-time. Into the second half we go. Not really too sure what Arturo Vidal was doing there with his attempts to try and win the ball back. Great little piece of footwork. Izzy Brown is in behind the former Chelsea player but not able to score a goal. David De Gea with a very decent save. Comfortable save. It was a nice height for him to be able to stop Brighton from pulling one back. Mkhitaryan into Lukaku. Around the corner to Vidal. A strike from the edge of the box but well saved down low by the goalkeeper. A third goal would really kill it off but with Brighton starting to create chances... Our uh, league title isn't necessarily assured just yet. The ball loops into the box here, headed on target and pretty comfortable for uh, David De Gea. However, I throw the ball out and, uh, well, I get it completely wrong, to be completely honest. A nice one too. Anthony Knockout with a strike. This time David De Gea claims it again, catches it well. And I didn't make the same mistake, threw it out to a teammate this time rather than straight to the Brighton man. On the attack myself, just enough on this pass. Um, oh, almost said Mkhitaryan there, and, uh, oh, and then you say Henry Mkhitaryan again. <laughs> Anthony Martial with the shot from the edge of the box, the snapshot that was well saved, but from the resulting corner, Romelu Lukaku heads home to give us the 3-0 lead, and perhaps a little bit cheeky to do the Wayne Rooney celebration that uh, he did against Manchester City all those years ago, because that was the goal that sealed the victory, although to be fair it was pretty solid already, but sealed the victory to give us 3-0 win there away from home at the Amex. We have won the Premier League title. Into the last game of the season we go. Son of a former Armenian international, Henrik Mkhitaryan, really making a name of his own, of course. Top scorer in the league this season. He's got that magic touch. And it's live. Henrik Mkhitaryan proving the point that I've made numerous times throughout this series that he is such a good player in career mode this year or just on FIFA 18 in general. The Premier League's leading goal scorer as we head into the final day. Hopefully that will remain to be the case. We very nearly go 1-0 down early on though. It was actually the defender that slid that wide, nearly scoring an own goal. From the resulting corner, Pradel heads it back across goal. There's Cabasele to win the header at the back post to give Watford a 1-0 lead. Are they going to spoil the Premier League title finale party that we're trying to throw here at Old Trafford to celebrate winning the league? Great footwork from Anthony Martial. The shot blocked by the defender, but it will cross the line. We get the equaliser. The fans rush forward, as you can see there on the right-hand side, leaving their seats, jumping over to try and celebrate with the Frenchman. We have ourselves an equaliser. Now, at this point in time, I didn't know who the own goal was going to go down to. It was either Pradel or what Shirelio Gomez. He absolutely supermans it and punches it into the back of the net. Unfortunately for Pradel, it did go down to an own goal as him. It had just crossed the line before Heredio Gomez got there with his Superman punch. So actually, the initial shot from Martial was going wide of the target. Dembele with the effort. Well saved by the keeper. Martial this time gets the ball into the back of the net, but still can't get a goal to his name because he was offside. Still 1-1. 
Martial still looking for that goal that he was, wants to uh, kind of take the glory, really. Arturo Vidal with a header down there, but past the post, not able to find the back of the net. Still just 1-1. The Premier League title, of course, is already assured, but it would be nice to win on the final day, wouldn't it? Especially in front of your own supporters. Usman Dembele taking things up. Uh, into his own hands, racing into the box. Dembele, uh, Dembele finds Lukaku and then Lukaku wastes it really. Kicked it against the defender, out for a corner which nothing came from. Lukaku into Anthony Martial. Still looking to make that name for himself into Lukaku's shot. Blocked him! Despite throwing himself at it, Usman Dembele at the back post can't find the ball into the back of the net either. The hour mark arrives. Can we now find the ball into the back of the net and get a second goal to go in front? Beautiful little scoop turn from Dembele into Mkhitaryan. It had to be him. It had to be him. Henrik Mkhitaryan with the goal to give us the lead here at home against Watford. Could we seal the season with a victory? Lukaku tackles the uh, defender here. Goes down rather innocuously and the referee points to the spot. Mm, tell me if you think this is a penalty from the replay. He tackles me, I tackle him, he stumbles, Lukaku falls over a stumbling defender. Not a penalty, but the guys behind me that were at the capture event were like, Chase, you've got to take it with De Gea and you've got to try Penenka. So, I did and I failed. But never mind, David De Gea, despite missing that last minute penalty with the Penenka, uh, <laughs> it didn't cost me in the end. We were able to get the 2-1 victory and of course celebrate the league title in style, having won it at home in front of our own fans. We're able to lift the trophy at Old Trafford 21 times now, Manchester United, winners of the top division in England. A few new signings in the lineup, of course, with Arturo Vida coming in, with Usman Dembele, with uh, a couple of others as well, including Pedro, who wasn't actually involved this time around, unfortunately for him. But uh, Socrates, there, as you can see, number five, he was heavily involved. Alexandro, the left back, was uh, rock solid for me as well. Arturo Vida actually wearing the captain's armband here, going to go up and lift the trophy. We weren't as successful in this one season shootout as I was hoping I would be. I would have liked to have won multiple trophies uh, before getting to, uh, to full release. But despite the fact that this was only at the capture event, I do already have one Premier League title under my, uh, under my hat and uh, one in the trophy cabinet for my FIFA 18 collection. That's a Riverdale lifting the trophy there in front of the Man United faithful. We have our first trophy of the FIFA 18 year. Now, the question is, can I replicate that with Chelsea? The first episode of which will be going live very, very soon. I think you'll be seeing this on the morning of Thursday the 21st, which means later this afternoon, episode one of the Chelsea career mode will be going live on the channel. There may even be a Journey episode one video going live also. So keep your eyes peeled all over my uh, YouTube channel for videos going live later this afternoon. I may even make this a triple upload and put it live on Wednesday. I haven't yet decided. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, drop the video a like rating. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Like I say, Chelsea Carrero coming extremely soon. The Journey coming extremely soon within the next 24 hours for both of them. There will be stream content too, as well as Ultimate Team on both the YouTube channel and on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming A Road to Glory on PlayStation and doing all of my, uh, all of my career modes on Xbox. But if you enjoyed this series as a whole, do make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more. The future series, of course, will be live commentated, as has been the case with all of my content for the past couple of years. Obviously, I wasn't able to live commentate this because of the uh, the nature of the capture event. We've got £173 million for winning the Premier League, so should I be going into a second season, hopefully we'll get, be getting similar sort of prize money at Chelsea. I'll, uh, I would have had a rather sizable transfer budget in season number two to go ahead and try and win further competitions. We won the league by, in the end, nine points, because Spurs just didn't do anything. They got four points from their final three games. They could have ended the league... I'll start that again, shall I? They could have ended the league campaign with 79 points, but because of their goal... Actually, not because of their goal difference. Because of their goals scored tally, uh, they finished second ahead of Manchester City. Liverpool just a point behind them in fourth. Unfortunately for me, Chelsea down in fifth. Only Europa League football for them next season. Stoke and Crystal Palace in the relegation zone. And uh, I apologise, I don't think I scrolled down to see who finished bottom. But I believe... Uh, no, there's West Brom. Uh, by process of elimination, I'm sure you guys can figure out who was relegated. Uh, in the flow of a commentary, I can't quite see off the top of my head who actually is going to go down. Newcastle are there, Brighton are there, Huddersfield are there. All the three promoted sides stay up. Leicester City are there. West Ham, Watford... I'm um, trying to... Is it No, Crystal Palace and Stoke are already in the relegation zone. Who is the other side that isn't in that list? Is it Southampton? No, they're 14th. Bournemouth are there in 13th. My brain is failing me. 
There is another side, and I'm sure you guys are screaming at your monitors right now, there is another side that isn't on that list that has been relegated, and I'm completely drawing a blank. Rather than pause the commentary and go and find out, I'll let you have this one. You guys have done me. I'm sure you know who it is that's been relegated, and I cannot... Swansea! Oh, Swansea, thank you, Chess. You scrolled down. Oh, that would have driven me mad until I went and Googled it. Swansea are the team that got relegated and finished bottom of the league on goal difference, thanks to Crystal Palace. Uh, oh, jeeps. What is life? Right, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the uh, live commentated series will go a little bit smoother than this when it hasn't been my best series by any, uh, by any stretch, but you guys seem to have enjoyed it, so thank you for watching. And uh, like I say, full live comm series of Chelsea and the journey coming up in the next few days. Keep your eyes peeled for those. I'll see you next time. Screw you, Swansea.